today's video i am going to explain a problem from functions of complex variables so here in this video if f of z is equal to u plus i v be an analytic function of z and if u minus v is given as x minus y into x square plus 4x y plus y square then we have to find the analytic function see here so in the question it is given that u minus v is equal to this is x minus y into this is x square plus 4xy plus y square. Now I am going to differentiate with respect to x. So that is dou u by dou x minus dou v by dou x. So with respect to x. So this is uv rule. So this is the first function and this is the second function. First function this is 1 into this is x square plus 4xy plus y square the first function i am leaving that is x minus y so i have to make a derivative with respect to x for x square this is 2x for x it is 1 4y remains and see i'll show you dou u by dou x so dou u by dou x minus dou v by dou x value is nothing but x square plus 4xy plus y square plus x minus y times of this is 2x plus 4y and next if I make a derivative with respect to y so this will be dou u by dou y minus dou v by dou y is equal to this is again uv rule the first function x will be 0 y is minus 1 this is minus 1 into I am leaving the second function that is x square plus 4xy plus y square and next I am leaving the first function that is x minus y and again I have to make a derivative with respect to y. So this will be 0 for y it is 1, 4x and for y square this will be 2y. And see so this is our dou u by dou x minus dou u by dou y. I am showing dou u by dou y minus dou v by dou y is equal to if I multiply with minus this is minus x square minus 4xy minus y square plus this is x minus y times of this is 4x plus 2y and now see we have to make a derivative so so we have to use Milne's Thompson method to find the analytic function I am going to use Milne's Thompson method so we have what is given we have f of z is given as f of z is given as u plus i into v see here f of z is given as u plus i into v now if i multiply with i that is i into f of z is equal to i into u plus i square so this is i square into v so if i add these three equations this will be 1 plus i f of z is equal to this is u minus v see here i square is equal to minus 1 so u minus v plus i times of this is u plus v see here what is given u minus v is given so and now i will transform this as capital f of z so this i am writing as capital f of z is equal to capital u plus i into capital v where capital f of z is equal to 1 plus i into small f of z and capital u and capital u is equal to small u minus small v and capital v is equal to this is small u plus capital v so here what is given u is given u minus v is given see i am using cr equations so if i use the cr equations u minus v value capital u value i have so i have to transform this capital V in terms of U according to the CR equations according to the CR equations we have dou U by dou X is equal to this is dou V by dou Y and next dou U by U X is equal to V Y and U Y is equal to minus V X so minus V X see so I have to transform V in terms of U See here, if I make a derivative with respect to x throughout, capital F of z is equal to capital U plus i into capital V. So, if I make a derivative f dash of z is equal to, this is capital U, dou capital U by dou x plus i into dou V by, this is dou x. So, using this uh, CR equations, I am transforming dou V by dou x as minus dou U by dou y. 
see here now i am transforming capital f of z is equal to this is do u by do x minus i times of do u by do y using cr equations so now we have what is capital u capital u is nothing but small u minus small v see here capital u is nothing but small u minus small v and so do u by do x value is equal to do u by do x value is equal to do small u by do x minus do v by do x and similarly if u capital u is equal to u small u minus small v then do u by see do u by do y value will be small do small u by do y minus do v by do y so both the values are ready and now i am going to substitute see here now f dash of z value will be c r f dash of z value is equal to what is capital do u by do x capital do u by do x is nothing but small do u by do x minus small do v by do x minus i times of what is capital do u by do y <coughs> this is small do u by do y minus small do v by do y now i am going to substitute all these values see here small do u by do x minus small do v by do y value is ready here i am just writing here c f dash of z is equal to what is this value that is x square plus 4xy plus y square plus this is x minus y times of this is 2x plus 4y so the whole thing i copied here minus i times of this is minus i times of do u by do y minus do v by do y so this value is also ready here so this is minus x square minus 4xy minus y square plus this is x minus y this is 4x plus 2y so this whole value i have copied here see now what is capital f dash of z capital f dash of z is nothing but what is capital f of z is nothing but 1 plus i into small f of z so this is 1 plus i into small f dash of z is equal to so this value will be x square plus 4xy plus y square if i multiply this will be 2x square plus this is 4xy so this value is minus 2xy and this is minus 4y square this value is minus 4x square and see here this is minus i times of this is minus x square minus 4xy minus y square if i multiply this one so this will be plus 4x square plus 2xy this is minus 4xy and this is minus 2y square now according to milnes thompson method so we have to replace so we have to replace x by z and y by 0 so again i am transforming so this is x square plus 2x square so this is 1 plus i so this is 1 plus i into f dash of z value is equal to so this is the value that is 3x square so this is minus plus 4 minus 2 plus 2 and this is 6xy and this value is minus 3y square minus i times of this is 3x square minus 4 so this is minus 2 so this is minus 6xy and this value is minus 3y square now in this if i substitute in place of x as z and in place of y as 0 then this will be 1 plus i into f dash of z so this will be 3z square this is 0 and this is 0 minus i times of this is 0 this is 3z square this is 0 and this is 0 and see this will be 1 plus i f dash of z if i take 3z square common this will be 1 minus i so if i send this 1 plus i to other side this will be 3z square this is 1 minus i by this value is 1 plus i now i am going to multiply and divide with 1 minus i 
1 minus i. So, f dash of z value will be f dash of z value will be this is 3 z square. So, if I multiply this will be 1 minus i whole square. a plus b into a minus b is nothing but a square minus b square. So, again this will be minus 1 minus of minus plus therefore our f dash of z. See f dash of z value is equal to this is 3 z square 1 minus i whole square by this value is 1 plus 1. And now f dash of z value is equal to this is 3 z square. So a minus b whole square is nothing but a square plus b square minus 2ab by 2. Therefore f dash of z is equal to this is 3 z square. This is 1 minus 1 minus 2i by 2. So if I cancel these two f dash of z value is equal to this is 3 z square. This is minus 2i by 2. So, again if I cancel f dash of z is equal to this is minus i into 3z square. Now, if I make integration on both sides, if I make an integration on both sides, then see what happens. So, this will be f of z is equal to minus i times of this is 3z cube by 3 plus c. So, even if I cancel this one, so our answer will be f of z is equal to minus i into z cube plus c. So, this is our required analytic function. So, this is our required analytic function. So, f of z is i times of minus z cube plus c is our required analytic function. And let me show you. So, what is given here? So, u minus v is given. So, first you make a derivative with respect to x and again with respect to y and keep it aside. So, according to the Milne's Thomson method, we have f of z is equal to u plus iv. So, if I multiply the same equation with i and add up these two equations, then this will be 1 plus i into f of z is equal to this will be i square. This is minus 1. This will be u minus 1. And if I take i common, this will be u plus 1. So, I can write this as capital F of z is equal to u plus iv as usual are transformed in terms of capital letters. See here f of z is equal to. So, when we compare f of z is equal to 1 plus i into small f of z and u will be small u minus v and v will be u plus v. So, here in the question what is given u value is given as small u minus v value is given. So, I will transform this v in terms of u. So, now I am using the CR equations. So, according to the CR equations dou v by dou x can be written as minus dou u by dou y. So, this v can be transformed. So, if I make a derivative with respect to x and dou v by dou x can be written as minus dou u by dou y. So, what is u here? u is nothing but small u minus v. So, dou u by dou x is nothing but small, dou small u by dou x minus dou small v by dou x and dou u by dou y is nothing but dou small u by dou y minus dou small v by dou y. So, both the values are ready from here. So, this is with respect to x and this is with respect to y. After substituting both the values, both the values, see here, so after simplifying, so we have to transform x by z and y by 0. So, this remains. So, if I take 3 z square common, it will be 1 minus i. If I send this 1 plus i to other side, see here, if I rationalize this one, so this is 1 minus i whole square by a square plus b square which is nothing but 1 plus 1, 2. And after simplifying I got minus i times of 3 z square. So, if I integrate on both sides this is nothing but z cube by 3. So, f of z is the analytic function is minus i times of z cube by c is the required analytic function and this is how we have to solve. This is so simple if you follow these steps and I will be uploading many more videos in this series. Please, please have a look at those. Please practice and pass it on to your friends and please take time to raise your thumb and subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much.